Hi everyone, my name is Hafsa Lewis, owner and founder of Hafsa & Co. Um, we are a small floral design business that uses flowers to help businesses stand out. So I'm here today, thank you to Mayesh for providing this incredible product and for asking me to be a, uh, a design star in 2021. What an honor. I'm really, really excited to share with you guys what I love to do, which is create big things for my clients. We are at Lemon Press on Main Street, Nantucket. It is a very cool, organic, eatery, sort of dining, sustainable, beautiful, wonderful establishment. And we are, in, I am, installing um, what you see behind me. So not really quite sure what it's gonna look like yet, but we'll start with mechanics and get to the design. Really guys, there's no magic to what's behind me. It's chicken wire, zip ties, and uh, some wire cutters and some uh, my scissors. So um, I use coated chicken wire to build what, what I call a chicken wire burrito. Thanks to my friend Sue McCleary for teaching me this concept because I use it for really all of my the bases of my large scale installations. Um, so essentially, you're just taking chicken wire and you know measuring the length. So I rolled this out and I measured the length of the what I needed, and then I rolled it up, I zip tied it together, and then I zip tied them and anchored them to um, screws that are in the wall behind me. So Mayesh, um, supplied all of our product here today and um, have a really incredible, extensive, fresh flower library. But for this installation, I wanted to do dried, natural, preserved items because I want this to last. And today, I, this was inspired by two things, um, the toffee rose, which is here, and this beautiful um, hanging amaranthus, which just has like so much movement and beauty. See, I went really, really neutral with this um, because it's on brick and also, um, you know, my lemon press has these really beautiful cushions right here. So this all has to sort of come into play when you're thinking about a design. You wanna think about your environment. You wanna think about um, when, what type of customers are coming through the doors and what would excite them. I think the one of the most important things I wanna talk to you guys about today is that like, I don't have any formal education or training Right? Like I'm self-taught and I think that when you think something is beautiful um, and you create something that's beautiful to you and to whomever's enjoying it, um, that's, that can be just as important. I'm going to probably start with the baby's breath and the ruscus because I know that they'll give me a lot of like a good base for the mechanics, but then we're really going to create shape with these more rigid structures um, that you can't fix that will give it that in-out vibe, but also like I like to call it like a cinched waist. If you don't want your installation to feel like a blob, you want it to have a little bit of shape. This is actually live and I'm going to leave it up with no water source and let it dry naturally. Sometimes if I'm designing not in a neutral palette, I'll spray paint um, my baby's breath in different shades to sort of match. But guys, look like how much, right? Just one stem covers. Every single stem, I'm gonna say this to you guys over and over and over again. I always look at the way the flower wants to go. If it wants to go this way, I'm gonna put it this way. One of the best pieces of advice one of my floral mentors ever gave me was, um, don't design and try to hide your mechanics, right? So I'm not designing thinking about, how am I gonna cover this structure? I mean, obviously I'm worried about covering the structure, like that's what, why we order in bulk, but when I create the base, I'm thinking about also giving myself space for what lies between. I am not putting everything one way. Really important. Nothing in nature grows one way. It's very organic and it has movement. So, you know, up top, I kind of wanted to have this sort of motion and then as it comes down I have it I, I purposely place the baby's breath into it so it's coming out at you and then um, I did it a little bit fuller and then tapered down and and then these guys are going the total opposite way so when I get to a point where I'm like I don't know what to do with this anymore I walk away you just your eyes get so used to seeing something when somebody experiences this for the first time, they're not seeing it through the same lens that you are. I use this in almost every single one of my dried installations because it, it gives you a lot of space. So it arrives to you like this, right? Or maybe you're going to the market 
I say it arrives to me because I live on an island and all of my things have to get shipped here, so they come in boxes. <laughs> Educating your clients on how much things cost is such a big part of all of our jobs in this industry. Um, but especially with dried, preserved product, it's expensive. So trying to explain that to a client sometimes, it's like, okay, well, they're actually more expensive than fresh flowers because they have to be um, treated. You're investing in something that is going to last. Um, and, if it's, and if it doesn't last, you know, because it's not preserved, if it's fresh flowers, that's the education around, well, it's this little thing we call floral marketing where we make this beautiful thing for you one time, like fresh flowers, if you're using fresh flowers, and then it lasts if you capture it properly. A big thing with large installations is weight distribution. And when you're building a floating cloud, this is really important. If this were two-sided, this is something to consider. You have to, it's like checks and balances. So you have to design one side, then the other, one side, then the other. Oftentimes, when I want a certain shape and I know I don't want it to move, I will zip tie a bunch together before I put it into the chicken wire burrito. This ensures that, you know, no matter how the flowers settle, because every, you know, it will settle a little bit, right? Um, like this is my shape. Okay, um, so you guys, this was the only fresh product that I used in this installation, so it will naturally dry. This is uh, the Toffee Rose Green Rose Farm out of Ecuador makes them, and Mayesh helps us get them all. So you can see that I've popped them in throughout, and um, and I'll leave them there to naturally dry because they are, you know, naturally beautiful. So I guess what I want to tell you guys about this installation is that you saw what I started with, and you saw, and now you can see how it ends. And I would just, you know, encourage you to think about texture. I want you to think about movement, about pieces that are really hard and immovable next to pieces that are really flowy and have movement. Um, really interesting birds of paradise, right? Like they kind of come at you and it's just a journey. It sort of takes your eye through the piece. Um, and I just wanna say thank you very much to Mayesh for having me and to Lemon Press for allowing me to go ham on their walls. And I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do.